All right, so good evening, good evening, Mr. Jose Sierra. How are you, sir? Good. So you're great? That's good, that's good. All right. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna wait a couple of um, couple of minutes so more people join this class. All right. Okay. So no need to rush over here. All right. So uh, good evening, Natty. Good evening, uh, Raquel. So welcome. You know, this is this is the the third week. You know, we're we're about to start the third week right now. Okay. You know, time does go by really fast, right? El tiempo se vuela. So time goes by really, really fast. Do you think so? You know, so two more weeks and then you're gonna be free for December at least, right? So tomorrow we start we start December, right? And you know, we, we have to see if uh, if December will be better or if it's going to be worse than, than November or we'll see. Okay. But you know, but we have to be we have to be optimistic. Don't you think so? <clears throat> Yes, teacher, it has to be better. It has to be better, right? It's, it's Christmas, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, we need to have we need to have good holidays, right? So December twenty fourth and December thirty first. You know, I I can see myself hugging my mom, my dad, and my family. You know, wishing twenty twenty to be over. <laughs> Adios, 2020. <laughs> Goodbye. Me. <laughs> All right. So, what what do you know? What do you know about about the uh, the president's announcement about the COVID nineteen vaccines, the la vacuna del COVID? What do you know about that? What do you know? I hear some news that they are going to be giving the the medicine in this month in December. All right, but is that in the United States or here in El Salvador? In the United States. Yeah, what Mr. President Trump announced is that yes, they're they're going to start giving away the uh, COVID-19 vaccine starting on December 11th. So in two weeks. The day, you know, the day after this uh, module finishes. <laughs> so, and that's the idea. But what, what about here in El Salvador? So what's the plan for us? What's the plan for us? What did uh, Mr. Bukele say about that? Did you watch? Did you watch the uh, Cadena Nacional, or maybe did you watch the news about it, or not? I or, didn't I mean, watch. Or, or you're not interested in that type of stuff over there. <laughs> I don't. I don't watch the news. You don't watch the. Yeah, me neither. But, but I watch memes. You know, I watch memes. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every, everybody watches memes, right? So, so memes, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see how many people we have in this class right now. We have... Uh, All right, so eight participants. So that's a good number right now. All right. So let me just pull up the presentation very quickly and then just go ahead and start 
with the class right away, all right? But before I go any further, let me ask you, do you have any particular or any, I don't know, question for me about the, uh, the, uh, the platform, all right? So I'm here to help you, so let me know, please. Otherwise, so you know, I see, you know, otherwise, let me just, you know, start the class right away, okay? So questions, no questions, everything good? All right. So now just, just to, to remind you, all right, just very quickly, remember that this week, at least, por lo menos, you know, at least you should have section one, two, and three, plus the midterm test or the midterm exam, at least. If you have more, that's great. If you have less, no problem, I mean, it's not that I'm pushing you, that like I'm telling you, hágalo, 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 no, no, no. The thing is that remember that we have less than two weeks, okay? Less than two weeks. So that's 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 the theme over there, okay? Para que ya digamos la otra semana solo nos quedemos con las clases en la noche y sirva para que ustedes practiquen y seguimos mejorando. All right? Y ya saben que tienen asegurado su puesto primero Dios para el siguiente año. O sea, ese es el plan. You know, that's the idea over here. Don't you think so? No creen. Any comments? Everyone? Any any comments, everyone? No, teacher, thank no, you. Teacher. All right. Yes, the thing is that uh, my, my coordination, you know, my boss, keeps on reminding me and tells me, Miss Elena, I think you know Miss, Miss Elena. So she tells me and she tells everyone, all teachers every every morning to tell you, you know, to remind you that the best thing you can do, you know, is complete the platform plus joining these classes, which is uh, what we're doing right now, all right? So we should have both things, okay, complete over there. So, you know, that's why I, I, I'm insisting over here. Okay. Vaya, pues, sin más preámbulos, you know, with no further ado, let's go ahead and start this right now. Okay. Here we go. Now, let me know, please, if you're able to, uh, if you're able to see the screen I'm about to share right now with all of you, and uh, we take it from there. Okay. So that's the one, English Corporativo uh, in pre, in, no, actually this is intermediate uh, module, week number three. And just to let you know, next Thursday, which is uh, December the 10th, will be the last day of class and the last day for you to complete and finish that platform, okay? At midnight, all right? So that's the deadline. Fecha limite. All right, let me just make sure. All right, so here we go, and um, let's see over here. All right, so the word for, for this acronym is give the green light or get the green light. So give the green light means to give permission for someone to do something or for something to happen. For example, imagine that you're asking your parents permission to go to, uh, I don't know, Estadio Cuscatlan to uh, watch or to see the game. I don't know, maybe Alianza is playing uh, against Aguila, for example. But you want to go Sol General, right? Quieren ir a Vietnam. So you gotta be careful over there, right? So if you're, uh, I don't know, if your mom or if your dad tells you, yes, I mean, go, no problem. So he, or she is giving you the green light, okay? Or permission over there. And what you do is to get the green light or to get permission, okay? So in other words, give the green light is to allow someone to do something over there, okay? Imagine this, uh, the council has given the green light to the new shopping center. 
and right now I'm gonna give a big commercial to you right now. In uh, recently, this uh, new shopping mall has been built in Apopa, right? And that is this new uh, how do you call it Plaza Mundo, right? And and uh, so in order for this company to start uh, building this project, they needed to ask permission or to or to get the green light from the city house or from the city council de la alcaldía de Apopa. That's what I think. All right. So in other words, they got the green light. So let me just go back over here. Imagine that on, on December 24th, el 24 de December, uh, maybe a friend has invited you to go out, I don't know, to celebrate Christmas Eve with their family. So you need to get the green light. O sea, tiene que tener permiso. So somebody else needs to give you the, the green light. Okay, so that's it. So give the green light is to give permission and to get the green light is to get the permission, all right? For example, we're just waiting to get the green light from our managers before we release the latest software update, okay? So imagine in the case of a company, you need to get the green light, o sea, luz verde, and this is a literal translation over there, okay? And as you can see, I, I also have a, a, an image to, to exemplify this. All right, so do you have any questions over there? So literalmente significa luz verde, all right? Obtener o, o darle la luz verde a alguien, okay? So, I don't know, questions, comments, examples from you? I mean, if you want to give a, give me a, an, an example, maybe better than the one I just gave you, go ahead, please. You know, I do appreciate your participation if you want to um, participate over here. All right, or can somebody give me a, a, a sample sentence you, using uh, give the green light, please? Or we're good. Algún ejemplo, por favor? I mean, I need to know that you're alive over there and you're actually listening to me. <laughs> yes, I mean. All right, go ahead, please. Nice. And then you, Soma, thank you. Yes, Nati. Maybe an example can be that the pharma pharmaceutics in the United States need the green light for start sharing the, vac the vacuum to the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Correct, yes. And also, rem yeah, you're right. That pharmaceuticals, okay, the pharmaceuticals, pharmaceuticals, they need to get permission, correct? They need to get approval, okay? Approvacion, they need to get the approval uh, from the uh, FDA, which is the Food Drug Administration from the United States, and the WHO, which is the World Health Organization, and maybe here in El Salvador and Central America from the OPS, right? Organización Panamericana de la Salud, so that one. Yes, that's a great example, and that's a very current, correct, yes. If they don't give the green light, it means that the COVID-19 vaccine is not ready, all right? Thank you for that. Thank you for bringing that up. All right, so let's move forward over here. So take a look at this. So for you, uh, the first two activities that you will be practicing right now are two, all right? This uh, game, okay, and uh, with this one, my plan is to help you uh, review the simple, per the simple pass with was and where. Yes, no questions, okay? And wh questions or information questions. If, if you were in a classroom, you know, physically, you know, studying English, and then you had a chance to have a, a printed copy of this, and, and you might have some dice, okay? Algunos dados. But in this case, it's your, it's your job. I'm, I, I mean, it's, it, it's up to you to start uh, practicing this from here, from the store, and to move forward, like two spaces, three spaces, etc until you make it to, uh, till the finish over here. But what I want you to do right now is just get in groups of three, okay, or groups of four, and start asking these questions. So for example, I can ask, 
let's see. So, Sulma, you had an example, right, of, of the green light before we move forward. Sulma, tenía un ejemplo usted, ¿verdad? Del, del, de esa yeah. Ok. Eh, eh, por ejemplo, eh, my mom gives me eh, the green light for going to the to the discotheque. <laughs> to the party. Yeah, but don't go to the wheelies, you know. It's correct. <laughs> yeah, don't go there, please be careful. If you want to go, I don't know, go Paseo el Carmen, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a great example, Sulma. All right? That's a great example, okay. by the way. Okay, a un, a un pachangón va a ir, you know. And let's continue over here. So as, mm -hmm. I, was, as I was saying, so... Uh, in this game, what you have to do is just asking answer questions. So, and I'm gonna choose, uh, let's see over here. By the way, uh, everyone, uh, you know, it would be great. O sea, sería lo mejor si ustedes activan su cámara, si gustan, ¿verdad? Porque a esta altura ya vamos a llevar la tercera semana y no conozco su rostro, ¿verdad? All right. So in that way, uh, I know that you're actually in class. Okay, so it's not mandatory, so it's not uh, obligatory, but it will be uh, better, okay? How, how, old were, uh, how old were you three years ago? <laughs> what was your favorite cartoon when you were eight, if you remember, all right? Who was absent from class yesterday? But in this case, if it says yesterday, it's gonna be last, last Thursday. But in this one, you don't know, right? Were you asleep yesterday at 10 p.m.? I'm going to say no, all right? When was your best friend born? Except if you know, okay? The point is to ask and answer questions. If you say, uh, I was, or so you, you got you to gotta give details over here. Do we have a deal on this one? Do we have a deal, everyone? All right? Okay. All right. All right. So thank you. Let me just uh, send this image to you very quickly, and then I'm going to send you to the breaker room. All right, so just one second, all right. All right. Hold on. Oh, by the way, I forgot to ask you, did you, I don't know, maybe you watch or did you hear about Mike Tyson's fight against somebody else over there or you are not into that <laughs> yeah you know i actually watched it uh, but it was i think all fake over there so i don't think it was you know authentic over there all right so just one second <laughs> okay all right, so can you please tell me if you uh, if you're able to open this this image, the one I'm sending you know to you right away, right now. All right, here, here we go. All right, so it's working. You know, I think it does. Yes. All right, so right now I'm opening the breaker rooms. So since you guys are only nine participants are going to be making three groups of three. Okay. So rooms are open. So go ahead, please enjoy them. Uh, so Edwin, you are with Mariana and Zulma. Um, Carlos, you're with uh, Chavez, he says, and Nati Montoya. And the last one is Jose, Raquel, and Tania. All right. So just asking answer and try to uh, remember or maybe to write your uh, partner's responses, please. Okay. Tenemos que uno elegir preguntas y hacerse pero las otras dos y así. Ah, ok. Mm. If you want, ok, I can start. Ok, ok. Ok, ok. 
Ok. Eh... Yeah. What is called as week? What is called as week? Okay. The last week was in cold. Well, for me. I don't know for you. Mm, for me, I remember. Mm, was it was very cold because it it rained, right? Some oh. days I don't, I don't remember what uh, so Saturday or or Sunday I don't know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it, it was it was rain raining. What sounds that it was? Teacher. Yes. Um, all the students have to do an answer. To the question? You decide actually. So you decide. It's up to you. Maybe you can ask, you can pick someone. Okay. So okay. or you can ask the question to everyone. Like right right now, I can ask Edwin, Mariana, and you. Uh, I mean you, Mariana, and then Sulma, I can ask you. So for example, this question I'm gonna ask uh, first uh, to uh, Edwin. So Edwin, were you a quiet child? And maybe Mariana can say I can answer after him, right? Were you a quiet child? <laughs> well, no. For me, honest, no. <laughs> so you were like hi hyper. <laughs> well, it's kind of. All right, so you were a troublemaker. Trouble. What do you mean, no troublemaker? A a troublemaker, alguien uh, uh, que hace, some, someone who uh, does not behave well, all right? A, uh, a playful ch uh, children, right? Um, alguien que hace travesuras, no. you know, that, that, yeah, a playful mm. children, you know, that's a troublemaker. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice platicona en inglés? Y me dice, ¿cómo es habladora? You can oh say, yeah, yeah, outgoing is extrovertido, outgoing. Yes, you may say that. But also you may say talkative, talkative, talkative. Oh. Talkative. Yeah, you can say talkative. Yeah, talkative. Like talk, you say talkative. Oh, muy hablada. Yeah, como blantín. Mm. You're talkative, all right? You like to talk over there a lot. Well. Yes, you're... you're like that's the type of person who always has something to say you know a talkative person but so right now why don't you continue asking the questions over there so maybe so edwin you continue okay. and then you ask the question to everybody and then uh, somebody else continues with some some other question and just like that all right okay, uh, okay. people was what was your last vacation Oh. Oh. Um. Me too. Yes, uh, who was uh, your best friend in high school? From who, Carlos? Uh, Jocelyn. It's for you. The, my best friend Esmeralda. All right, so her name was Esmeralda. You may say, All right? Yeah. All right, so uh, let me just tell you something over here. Okay, you you know you either take it or leave it, so no problem. So imagine that I'm asking any of these questions. So let's see this one, the one that says, uh, let's see, who was, no, I'm sorry, what was your favorite cartoon when you were eight? If you don't remember, 
at least say something that you watch at, at that point. So for example, I'm gonna ask the question to everybody. So I'm gonna start with Nati, then Carlos, and then Jocelyn. So uh, Nati, I'm gonna start with you. And then you tell me, okay, yes, it was, I don't know, the Looney Tunes, for example, you can say that. Or it was the Flintstones, or the Jepson, you can say that. Or Scooby-Doo, <laughs> so we don't know that. And then you tell me, yeah, it was this because of this, but you have to give me details, why, right? And then, so I, I, I take notes, of your information and then I continue with Carlos. So Carlos, the same question. So what was your favorite cartoon when you were eight? And then you tell me whether, and then I finish with Jocelyn. And then now maybe Nati continues and then you ask me the same question or you can ask me another question, my brother. So it's up to you. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think it's I think it's better that way. Okay, teach. All right, thank you. Uh, shall we start? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> start. <laughs> 27 years. Okay. Um, you can pick a question, uh, Jose, if you want. Okay. Okay. All right, so Jose, go ahead, please. Any question, please. Yes, sir. Cualquiera puede ser, o que yo no lo llevo. Yes, 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 anywhere, yes. But a question for Tanya. Okay. Okay. Where do you acquire chips? <laughs> Chai, right? <laughs> and. No, I wasn't. Uh, so you uh, you were a, you were a troublemaker. Yeah. Um. ¿Cómo se dice golpe? How do you say golpe? I don't know. Punch. Punch. Punch? Oh no, de caída. Ah, Punch. I don't know. I fell or I fall. I fell, fall or I tripped over. Se tropezaba, tripped over, or fall, fell. What do, what do you want to say, by the way? Uh, pues tenía muchos golpes, hay moretes. <laughs> ah, okay. You may say, I, 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 used to, I used to fall yes. all the time and get bruise, bruises. Uh, let me send it to you. Let me send the spelling to you. Okay, I mean to everyone right now. I broke my, my, my oh. Your wrist? arm. Arm or wrist? Arm, yeah. arm, arm. Okay. Yeah, me too. You see, I have a surgery over here. I have a surgery over here. Gran operación que tengo. Gran surgery over here because of that. <laughs> All right. So you said uh, Bruce. Okay, Bruce. Bruces, moretones. Bruce. Bruce. Yes, that one. All right. Okay. Uh, Miguel? Hi. Am I doing Yes, uh, bueno, no sé cuál es la dinámica ahorita. Uh, you pick any question and you oh. ask that question to anybody, Miguel. Yes. Okay. Mm. Where were you born? <laughs> Uh, I was I was born in El Salvador. In okay. specific, what city? Since in we specific, are similar. In Ilopango. Okay. I was born so, in Ilopango. So and that's is that is that your your hometown right now or are you living somewhere else? No, yes. my hometown now is La Libertad, San Juan. <laughs> you see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Um. Next question or? Uh, but you, um, Miguel, um, hmm? how was your weekend? Uh, yeah, my weekend, <laughs> no sé cómo se decía, uh -huh. heavy. 
pesado. Yeah, was heavy. That's okay. Hey, was hey. heavy. It was heavy. Was heavy. <laughs> Because it's the cierre de mes, no sé. You can say it's the end of the month. The, the month. The end of say. the month. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You have to do many things, eh, Miguel. You can, say, you, you can say, I had, YouTube, I have to do many things at work. Let me say that. I have many things. To do, yes. Or, or I did many things at work. Okay. Okay. I did many things at work. <laughs> yeah, that happens. All right. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's see two more minutes, and then we're gonna go back to the main station. Okay. Okay. All right. So 8:32, we're gonna come back, and I'm gonna close the room. So. Favorite cartoon when I was uh, eight years. I remember that was Samurai Jack. Mm -hmm. Okay. I remember my my favorite cartoon when I was eight uh, was Teletubbies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you know Teletubbies? Of course I know. They, know, they scare me. They scare me now. You know. Teletubbies. <laughs> yeah, and It's, the sun and the sun face. Remember? Yeah. Well, no, no. Uh, no. Yeah, they're, they're kind of scary right now. Dan miedo. <laughs> yeah, to be yeah honest, but... I didn't see them. You you have no idea. I mean, go Google them. Google them, Edwin, later, and you're gonna see <laughs> what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> I mean, I I watch them on channel two here, and mm -hmm. you know I like them too. But now it, it, when I see them, it's like okay, so this is not for children. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If, if you I, say I that think, one, yes. Uh, the the people. The people, yes. What? Yeah, go ahead. That Teletubi was was ah. diabolic. Yes. Because I, I don't know why, but but yeah. some people said. Yes, correct. Yeah, uh, they said it was demoniac, right? It was from the devil. Era el diablo. That's what they said. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. you say that, but... I, I don't know. I was grow up with Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> my, mom, my, mom, my mom used to say that Goku was also from the devil, you know? <laughs> Because, you know, I'm from that gener generation. I, I used to watch a lot of that. All right. <laughs> the people say that... And um, Hello Kitty too. Yeah, Hello Kitty. I don't know why, right? Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Hello Kitty means hola demonio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's crazy, right? Yes. All right. All right, so okay, let's continue. Uh, another question for everyone. Uh, where where were you last Saturday at 9 p.m.? <laughs> It looks like the police is asking that question, right? Como si es la policía. Yeah. <laughs> I was in my house playing Call of Duty Mobile. <laughs> What do you play in your what what kind of play? All right, so uh welcome back. You know, Miguel, uh it's good that your that your son is over there, you know, he's gonna learn something. <laughs> Algo se le va a pegar, Miguel. <laughs> Yes, he's gonna he's gonna learn learn something over there. All right. So the the idea of these of these questions is that that you can uh, give details, okay, and use a vocabulary not only to say yes or no or I don't remember. 
like for example, in the case of, of the question, uh, you know, this question in the case of, of uh, uh, let's see, what was your favorite cartoon when you were eight? Okay, so in that one you can say, uh, so some people were saying that the Teletubbies and some other were saying that Hello Kitty. <laughs> some of you may say Messenger Zeta, right? Etc. So so it depends. Yo. Yes, right. <laughs> right. So it, it, it actually depends over here. So, and the point is to give details so you can remember and use, use your English. Okay, that's the plan over here. Okay. So that's the idea. Remember that we have to use English to give your point of view and to communicate. So in the end, that's all that matters over here. But now let's let's become a little bit, I don't know, maybe uh, more serious on this and let's review this, this grammar right now. Indirect questions, you know, indirect questions sometimes are just a headache, you know, because it's grammar and grammars is, it's not the favorite subject for you, I, I may say. But, you know, uh, this if you don't like it, I mean, no problem, but we have to use it, okay? So it, it, that's the way it is. So indirect question, okay? It's, it's like uh, a way to ask a question to make it uh, polite. So una forma de preguntar más cortés, okay? That's, that's why. So, for example, I can ask, imagine, imagine that I don't know you, Nati, imagine that I don't know you and this is the first time I see you in person, right? And I ask you, eh, what's your age? Imagine this. Or am I, am I, I ask you, uh, did you take a shower? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Or I don't know, I can ask you, uh, uh, let's see somebody else over here. So imagine that somebody asks, in general, maybe uh, Sulma or Tanya, they may ask you, do you have a boyfriend? It's like, okay, so why are you asking that I have a boyfriend? Or are you married? So that's simple light. But you can make that question a little bit indirect, okay? So puedes suavizarlo un poquito. By changing the grammar. So instead of asking, uh, do you have a boyfriend? You can ask. Uh, I was wondering if you have a boyfriend. Or, uh, or can you tell me if you have a boyfriend? Or can you tell me uh, what, what your age is? All right. Or how you are. You know, how old you are, for example. So that's a grammar over there. So what you do is basically, okay, we make this question. Okay, we make a, a simple question into an indirect question, okay? And let me ask in general, ¿Cuál sería la pregunta original de la número uno? So what would be the original question for number one? Si le quitamos el, el can you tell me? Aha, uh -huh, exactly. What did he say, right? Like, so, so what did he say? Okay. And remember this, lo que hacemos es, en una pregunta indirecta, le borramos, le borramos el auxiliar. Para comenzar, borramos el auxiliar. So that's, you know, that's what we do, you know, to start with. Okay. Remember that, please. In an indirect question, what, what you do is, you erase the auxiliary. We don't need an auxiliary. Ya sea que sea do, all right, puede ser will. It could be does, it could be did, it could be have. Cualquier auxiliar, we don't need that anymore. No more, okay? No more. Instead of that, we replace the auxiliary con una frase que antecede todo lo demás. Y esta frase puede ser, this phrase can be, can you tell me, or do you know? All right? Y voy a hacer quizás un poco más... Casual en el lenguaje que le puede decir en Spanish. Eh, como dice la gente, la vieja confiable. All right. So that's what people say, right? So you use, can you tell me or do you know? And then you can ask, the, le puede preguntar el cumpleaños, la magnífica, lo que usted quiera. As long as you use, do you know? All right. Or can you tell me? Me puede decir o do you know? Por casualidad sabe. 
Ok. Así, así sería la traducción. Ok. Do you know? Ok. Eh, and then we just uh, omit the grammar. Since this question was in the past, number one, the, the verb needs to be in the past. O sea, es cierto que yo ya puse, can you tell me? Pero de ahí va a ocupar la misma palabra de enlace. que le está preguntando? What? All right. O sea, le pregunté, ¿qué dijo el teacher? Es lo mismito. Si usted quiere preguntar, ¿y qué fue lo que dijo? Ok, es lo mismo, right? It's the same thing. Le puede preguntar, le puede decir qué fue lo que dijo. Y no, that's an indirect question. Me puede decir qué fue lo que dijo. All right? Ok, so be careful. Primero, first of all, we put this. All right? Can you tell me? Or do you know? And then we use the same question word. Si como está preguntando el qué, you're going to use what. If you're asking who, like the people, you're going to use who. You see here? If you're using why, the reason, you're going to use white over here. La palabra, o sea, la WH word, you know, what, who, where, why, how, is going to be like the bridge. O sea, va a ser el puente de que va a conectar. Can you tell me or do you know con el resto de la pregunta? All right? So one more time. Okay, the WH word will be the bridge or the connector between the first part and the last part of the indirect question. Okay. O sea, no es lo mismo que yo le diga, uh, what did he say? Or what's your name? Que le pregunta, can you, uh, uh, can you tell me your name? Just like that. Or can you tell me what your name is? Just like that. Or what time is it? I can ask you. Or I can ask you, do you know what time it is? Okay. Be careful on this. Hay que tener mucho, mucho cuidado porque este es el error más eh, común. All right? It's the most common mistake we uh, make when learning this. El verbo de la pregunta regular tiene que ir prácticamente en estructura de oración. ¿Ok? Si ustedes agarran esta porción, this one, you, know, you get this part. Es una oración normal. He did this. All right? Y aquí, who sent the letter? ¿Quién envió la, la carta? Y aquí, what he said. All right? You see? Estructura de una oración simple. All right? He said, uh, who sent? He did this. All right? The meeting is. La reunión es. Okay? As you can see over here. All right? But let me exemplify. You know, I don't want to confuse you over here. Let me exemplify it. Vamos a minimizar un poquito esto. You know, let me just minimize this and explain this. And, uh, and I'm going to take the time right now to explain this with you. All right? Me voy, a, me voy a tomar un poquito quizás de esta clase para explicarles por qué eso tiene que quedar 100% claro. Este, entiendo que no lo vamos a quizás a captar esta noche completamente. I mean, that's okay. Y se los aseguro que esto es el pan de cada día cuando usted habla inglés. ¿Ok? Because the language is communicative, you guys don't ask questions directly. You need, you need to like soften the question over there. Yes, who's the teacher over here? Uh, me. Uh, I see that sometimes the people use who. Uh, best can. Which one you said? They use what? I'm sorry, I, 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 I can barely hear you. Yeah, that's that's right. You can ask. You can you can say that. But yeah, could is more polite. It's up to you. It's up to you. All right. So it's up to you what you want to ask. If you want to be like the, uh, I don't know, the most polite person in the planet, you can say, I was wondering uh, if you could tell me what time it is. Pero, o sea, al final, perdió la idea, and all you want to ask is, ¿qué hora tiene? <laughs> so, so that's the point over there. Or, or you can ask, be careful, no le puede decir, eh, do you know, do you know your name? Obviamente no le va a preguntar eso, right? You're going to ask, so what's your name, please? Right? So, and that's the point over there. So, let me just give you some examples, okay? Give me, uh, I'm gonna ask you, 
uh, this one. You know, what time, what time is it, All right? Can you see the screen I'm sharing with you? Yep. Yeah. All right, so what time is it? And let me ask you this one, now one in, uh, I'm gonna ask you, Miguel, where do you work? Okay, that's a very personal question. Y esa es la clave de una pregunta indirecta, ¿verdad? Que hacemos preguntas personales, pero le damos vuelta, right? To make it a little bit more polite over here. Una pregunta que sea un poquito personal, para que nos sirva de ejemplo, que me puedan ayudar, por favor. How old are you? How old are you, right? Yes, that's a good one, right? You know, people say that women don't like to be asked that question, but I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you tell me, you know, I don't have any experience. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Yeah, this one. Eh, nadie pregunta esto, you know, nobody asks this, but eh, did you did you take a shower, I would say? Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to ask this. All right. Pero quizá la vamos a dejar de último porque eso no cumple la, la cuestión de una pregunta abierta. Esto es una pregunta cerrada. Did you? you know, sí o no? O tal vez. O you don't remember. Um, let's see. All right. So this one. I think with this one will be okay. But we have, no, the past. Uh, what do you do yesterday, I would say? Uh, four. All right. What did you eat? Okay, yesterday. For lunch, all right. Okay. So we have the present con el verbo to be. We have the present with the verb be. We have the present con uh, do, all right. Y agregamos otra con el present. Eh, pero igual voy a cambiar el nombre. Con el present de, let's see. Eh, Where does she work, all right? The same thing, con el mismo verbo, all right? Si se fijan, tenemos auxiliares distintos. Tenemos el is, que es un auxiliar también, o un verbo. Tenemos el do, el does, es el verbo to be, lo mismo, el pasado, all right? And then we have this yes, no question over there, all right? So let me just change this, five and six, okay. Pregunta directa, what time is it? All right. ¿Cuál era la vieja confiable que les dije? Everyone, what's the most common way for you to start? So how can you start an indirect question? Uh -huh. All um, right, so can you yeah. tell me, right? All right, can you tell me? And then what's next? What time is it? Like what time is it? What time? Aquí hay que darle vuelta a la tortilla, miren, si no se nos va a quemar. El it va a pasar antes del is. Y esto es lo más importante que ustedes tienen que recordar. All right? Aquí. What time it is? This one. Como estamos preguntando, ¿verdad? Una estructura de pregunta acá, tenemos que cerrarla con un question mark, just like this. All right? Can you tell me what time it is? All right? No podemos poner dos preguntas en la misma eh, renglón, por así decirlo, en la misma línea. So that's why we're saying this. And I would say that that's the, the tr trickiest part of this. La pregunta es, what time it is? I'm mean, well, sorry, what time is it? What time is it? As you know, when you ask a question, invertimos, ¿verdad? Primero va el verbo y luego va el sujeto. When you ask a question. But when you ask an indirect question, you gotta uh, change that. La vieja confiable, like we said, right? The most common thing is, do you know or can you tell me? Si es una pregunta abierta, ponemos la palabra, enlace. You know, what, where, how, etc. Right? Who? De ahí luego va lo normal, ¿verdad? Que estoy preguntando el time, ¿ok? I, 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 write, I, wrote, I wrote the time over here. Y luego aquí, como es una pregunta, tengo que darle vuelta. Voy a poner what time it is. All right? So remember that. So what about on number two? Let's use the same thing, you know. Can you tell me? What is the, the connector over there? What will be my connector over there? Where? Where? Yeah, correct. Where 
And what did I say we should do with this? We have to, yes, we have to erase the auxiliary. Eliminamos el auxiliar, no lo necesitamos. All right, we don't need that anymore. So can you tell me where? ¿Qué quiero averiguar? Exactly, so the place you work, el lugar de trabajo. Where you work, all right? Uh, Just like that. Y no se invierte. Mm, o sea, eh, lo que pasa es que la inversión está aquí, el auxiliar. El auxiliar de yo estoy preguntando, do you work over here? All right. Entonces, en este caso, lo que hacemos es quitarle el auxiliar. Cuando está el verbo to be, invertimos el sujeto con el, con el verbo. All right. But when we have an auxiliary like do, all right, or does, or did, borramos el auxiliar. Y es más fácil de hacer. All right? All right, like this. Si lo borramos de aquí, where you work? In Estados Unidos, you know, people ask this, you know, in the United States, they say, okay, where you work? All right? Where you work? All right, people ask, ask that, but, you know, but that's very informal. So can you tell me where you work? All right? Who can help me with number three? All right. Who can tell me with number three? Let's start with this. Do you do you know? Uh huh. Isabel, donde trabaja? Where? Do you know where? Uh huh. She works. Uh huh. Y aquí tenemos que conjugar where el verbo. Works. Where she works. Exactly. We gotta conjugate the verb. All right. Just, just like this. Yes. Es saber dónde trabaja. Yeah. No, in this case, it's, it's, you know, she. That's why we use works. Porque si yo le respondo, usted va a decir, I don't know. Or, or, uh, yeah. Uh, she works in a cafeteria. Or she works, etc. Right? All right. Otro grado de dificultad no solo aquí. Si usted pregunta acerca de ella, de él, o del clima, lo que sea, en presente tiene que conjugar el verbo. All right. Por eso les decía, aquí ya es como una oración conjugada. Ok. So, do you know where she works? You know, we erase, we erase this. All right. And what we do is, we just wrote it a, a, like, a, like a sentence or like a regular sentence right there. Ok. Let's move forward. Okay, what about what, what about uh, the next one over there? How old are you? All right. Uh, Edwin me decía, puedo ocupar could? Of course, we can use this. Could you tell me? Para ser un poquito más y con más tacto, right? So you gotta be a little bit more uh, polite over there, right? With, with, to have more manners, you know, para tener más tacto, more manners or better manners. Uh, could you tell me? Uh huh. How? Um, how how old? Uh -huh. How old? Uh -huh. Yes. You are. How old you are? Yes. How old you are? Thank you. Yes, you see, and and then aquí invertimos, verdad? Damos vuelta la tortilla con el verbo to be. So how old are you? Y no borramos nada, sino que lo invertimos. Now, this one is, I'm talking about the past, all right? And this is the auxiliary that I have. So this is the past, all right? Remember on number two, this is the present over there. Okay. So since this is the past, I'm gonna also ask, what did you eat for lunch? Y aquí hay una nueva estructura que les quiero enseñar, all right, mostrar. I was wondering, all right? Esto es bien, bien cortés, okay? Bien formal. All right, it's very formal and polite. Me preguntaba, I was wondering, you know, I was wondering uh, where you work. Okay, I, I was wondering, uh-huh, connector. Let me just change this. So I was wondering what, uh -huh. and then what's next? I was wondering what? Do it. Why do you, uh-huh. Why do you eat for lunch? Pass, right? I'm talking about the pass. 
I was wondering what Eight. you ate exactly for lunch. Right? You know, that's what I was telling you. Esto es un poquito más complicado porque tienen que pensar. Es más fácil decir, you know, it's easier to say, okay, what did you eat for lunch? But it's, it's more difficult to say, can you tell me what you ate for lunch? Or do you know, or do you, do you remember what you ate for lunch? Okay? So that's more difficult. Remember that. Okay? Si es el verbo to be, invertimos el orden, ¿verdad? De los factores. You know, we invert the order over there. If it's simple present, we do. We delete o borramos el, the auxiliary verb y lo ponemos en la estructura de una oración. Where you work, all right? For example, if it's the simple present, pero estamos preguntando de he, she, or it, all right? You gotta uh, make sure to conjugate the verb. Conjugamos el verbo, por favor. So we gotta conjugate the verb over there, all right? So remember that, please. And if it's the verb be again with, with you, uh, again, we invert the order over there, okay? Just like this. And if it's, if it's the pass, if it's the pass over here, just like this, borramos otra vez el auxiliar y el verbo lo tenemos que conjugar. All right, we have to conjugate the verb in pass over there. But my friends, I can be explaining this uh, a little bit more, but I think it's better if you actually get to practice. Okay, if you actually get to practice this. Okay, so and for that, for that I'm gonna I'm gonna send this screenshot for you, and I'm gonna give you let's say two minutes uh, for you to uh, do one, two, three, and four. Okay, ready? Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. So let me let me send you to the breaker room, Simper, because this class is almost over. Okay, so just one second over here. Uh, vaya, démosle, por favor. So go ahead, please. Uh, I'm going to send this image to you. So let's say one, two, three, and four, or if you want to do more, that's okay, but we're running out of time. So no acaba el tiempo over here. Okay, so that's the thing over there. So join the rooms, please. I believe that we had to do some interpretation with the question that that we in the past eight. Yeah, you're right, Edwin. Yes, just ah, try okay. to make. You're right. Just try to make uh, indirect questions uh, with the uh, one, two, three, and four uh, sentences over there. The one you have, please. Uh, well, uh, uh, I know the third one. Uh, I don't know if I am correct with that. Can don't worry. Mm -hmm. One time the banks opens. Yes. So what time? Uh huh. What can you tell me? What time the banks opens? Is it only one bank or banks? Banks. Okay, in that case, yes, you're right. But remember that if you use plural, you say uh, people, we just say uh, open, do, go, play. We don't put an S, oh. Edwin. Mm -hmm. if, oh. it's only, if it's only one bank, like for example, Banco Cuscatlán, I can say, do you know what time uh, Banco Cuscatlán de la San Luis opens? Because it's only one. But if I say, do you know what time uh, Metrocento uh, banks 
open in that case you say open because it's many all right many banks oh, okay mm -hmm. yes but i think we, we gotta do this uh i think tomorrow because i'm running out of time and i have another class All right, so welcome everyone. Uh, you know, I'm sorry that I have to, you know, bring you back. And you were <laughs> yes, and you were just in the middle of the practice in there. But tomorrow, that's gonna be tomorrow is gonna be full practice for indirect questions. Okay, it's gonna be just full practice for that. I have a lot of uh, exercises, questions, conversations, and everything that you can practice so you can understand and use indirect questions. Okay. If you can, yes, if you can uh, study the grammar I just sent to you and, and ask me questions tomorrow. Okay. Indirectly. So, hope to see you tomorrow and have a great evening, everyone. I have a class. Eh, teacher, teacher. Yes. Eh, Puede enviar la imagen de, de las oraciones que hizo. Es que no le tome foto. Yes, yes. Let me send it right now. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So, see you tomorrow and have a great week. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 See you. Goodbye.